We're back with another empty video. If you guys are not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any of my future uploads and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Now let's jump into the video. Okay, you guys, it's been a while. It's been, I don't know how long it's been. I'm, I'm completely clueless on the last time I filmed an empties video, but that was my dog. We're back and we're going to go through this. Okay. Because I need an empty bin. Okay. We got a lot of candles. So we're going to go through the candles real fast. I've been burning candles. You guys like I'm a crazy candle lady. I have five candles in front of me and let me tell you, this is not all of them. I know that I've thrown so many away because I don't usually put candles in my empties bin anymore because it just takes up a lot of space. But all of these candles are from different companies and I truly enjoyed them. So I want to share them with you guys. The first two candles, you guys, I don't know if you can see, but it has a little paw on it. It's not, it doesn't look like it's coming it doesn't look like it's showing up on camera, but it has a little paw on it and it says sand and paws inspired at dog beach on California coast. This is supposed to neutralize pet odor. I got mine from TJ Maxx and they were $14.99 for one of them. <sighs> you guys, they smell so good. I don't know if they really ne neutralize pet odor, but they do smell good. I really like the scent of these and I like the the candle itself. It's pretty. I think it's very pretty. Anytime I go to TJ Maxx, if I see these, I'm going to pick them up because I really do like them. The next one that I got is from Sand and Paws. Oh, same, same. This one is also pet, it neutralizes pet odor. You guys, tell me, doesn't that look like a schnauzer? My husband's like, well, it looks like a terrier or something. It looks like a schnauzer. So I'm actually going to keep this candle and I'm going to buy um, a candle kit thing on Amazon and I'm going to make my own candle because I love that. Anything that has like a schnauzer on it, sold. This one was $7.99 and it smells good. Again, if I see that again at TJ Maxx, I'm going to snatch it on up because I like it. I picked this one up and I believe I got this from Aldi's. It's by the brand Hunt Huntington. Hunt I cannot see why would you put that in silver. Hunting Huntington Homes and it's the number 5 black tea and grapefruit. Um, I can't smell that. I don't know what that smells like, but I thought the candle itself looked very pretty. Now I'm not going to lie. This candle did not last long. It did not last long. I bought this and I think a couple days later it was already gone, but I do light my candles in the morning and then, um, they go all day and then I blow them out at nighttime. So maybe that was my fault. The last candle that I have is from Glade and this is their, what scent are you? I don't know. It's, I think it's a watermelon. You guys, this is amazing. It's amazing. I picked this up from Dollar General and I love it. I love it. They have a couple watermelon scents. There's some that I like and there's others that I absolutely think smell disgusting. So you gotta be, you gotta smell them to make sure it's the right one. But I believe this was like a watermelon, had watermelon in the title. It, it's amazing. I love it. Okay. Candles are gone. Now let's move on. So I'm going to do all of the body products first, and then we'll go into any makeup or skin products. Cause I don't really have that many. Hubby got me this lotion for Easter. It is from the brand on Onyxy Onyx. It's a sandalwood and vanilla. This is a hydrating body lotion and serum. 
I have to say it's not bad. It's pretty good. I think he got this at Walmart. It didn't last me that long, but lotions really don't last me that long because I like... <sighs> You know, I, I go in with a lot all the time, but I do like this. I have two other ones in the bathroom that are different scents, so I'm going to use them on up. Now, it says that if you want more of the serum, you're supposed to squeeze it from the top. If you want more of the lotion, you squeeze it from the bottom. So keep that in mind if you get these because I just squeeze in the middle and I didn't read that. And then my husband read it to me and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I went through a whole thing of this pink Victoria's Secret. No, it's pink. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pink. The Hair and Body Vanilla Body Spray. You guys, this smelled really good. I'm not really a vanilla type person, but overall, good. Would I repurchase that again? No, I do not think they're cruelty free. If they were cruelty free, yeah, I probably would. Cause I really did like that scent. We went through a whole bottle of the Britney Curious perfume, I think. Curious? Yeah, Curious perfume. You guys, I picked it up because I saw someone on TikTok. They found it at, where did they find it? TJ Maxx. And they said, oh my gosh, you guys, you have to go get this. This is the best smelling perfume. Now I wouldn't disagree with them that it's a good smelling perfume, but I don't think you need it. I don't think you need it. I feel like there's other perfumes out there that smell and last a little bit longer. Kim K, where are you? Where is your perfumes at? I love Kim's perfumes. I wish she would come back with them and I think she's going to. They are the best, the price is amazing, the scents are incredible, and they last on your body for a long time, I feel like. Now, I'm a little scared because her makeup came back and her makeup is a little bit more expensive than it was originally. So I feel like her perfumes are going to be, they're gonna cost more too. That's gonna just piss me off. Yeah, just pissed me off. Okay, next thing I got is some Bath and Body body cream right here. This stuff was good, but it's not cruelty free, so I'm not gonna repurchase it. I think my hubby got me that. I picked up some Native Deodorant, and this is the scent Coconut and Vanilla. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I used, I think, the whole thing. No, I didn't. There's still some in there. This did not work on me. My B.O. just went boom right through that deodorant and it was like, hey, I'm here. Can't stop me. Like this didn't do shit. Like this did not do anything. I was, oh, I was so disappointed in it. And it's not the deodorant's fault, it's me. I just, my pits are strong and it needs a deodorant that is going to like punch the BO right in the face and be like, bitch, stay down. And Native was just a little too nice. It couldn't do that to my BO. So I will not be repurchasing their deodorant again because it didn't work. Okay, we got this relaxed lavender jasmine um what are you all's well it's a room spray i picked this up from walmart this was good it has a really strong lavender scent so i was thinking like spraying this on my bed before i go to bed because that lavender is supposed to help you sleep but i'm gonna be honest i don't feel like it had a real lasting scent. I did pick one up from TJ Maxx. It's from a different brand. I still am using it and that scent lingers on for a while. So I probably won't be repurchasing this. I need something that's gonna smell good and last a long time. Okay, you gotta smell good, you gotta last a long time. If you're not gonna do both of them, I'm not going to buy you. So, companies, listen to me. 
<laughs> oh, my back is killing me. If you guys could only feel the pain that I'm feeling right now. Holy. And I just realized this is my third YouTube video that I filmed. And I filmed one TikTok. And I have forgot to take a picture for my thumbnail for each video. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, let's continue on because I'm going crazy. I have another perfume. This is from uh, what? Peace Love Juicy Couture. They have some, they have some nice smelling perfumes. I'm not going to lie, but I'm kind of over the Juicy Couture scents. I want something that's a little bit more mature smelling because I'm 40. I'm going to be 41 this year. So I kind of want a more mature perfume scent, if you know what I mean. If you have any suggestions, let me know. It is like, it is like dangerous outside. It is like, it's it's bad it's bad okay so that is pretty much all of my body products now we're gonna move into makeup skincare and I think I have a couple hair products yes I do first hair product is from pureology and this is their multitasking hair beautifier beer whatever um, I just got like this mini one because I was trying to repair the damage in my hair after I bleached it and it's so tiny that I honestly couldn't tell if it helped or not but I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest I heard a lot of great reviews on this so if I ever damaged my hair I would be buying that again the full size next time full size I have here a glaze and this is their super color conditioning gloss. I picked this up because Laura Lee um, used this in one of her videos and I have to say I really do like it. It is, a, I got mine in the black shade. It's a hair gloss so when your hair is starting to look very dull, you need to put a little gloss in there to bring back the shine. I really liked it. I liked the way that my hair looked afterwards. If you have blonde hair, they do have a clear gloss that you can use that is really good. Really good. I don't know what the brand is. Oh, because I think that's the color. I don't know. I think it's called Glaze. Don't quote me on that. Do not quote me on that. Okay, next we have all skincare and beauty products. So we have the Snail Musum, and this is their, what are you? No, it's not the Musum. This is the Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. This was not bad. I really, I kind of liked it. Weird consistency. While I was using the Snail products, I did not have one breakout. So keep that in mind. Would I repurchase that? Probably. Probably. I have here a Makeup by Mario foundation. I loved it. I would re repurchase that. I have then I have another foundation from Makeup Revolution. This is their Super Serum. This is a really nice affordable foundation. I would definitely be repurchasing that too. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. You guys, this is amazing amazing i don't know why i waited so long to purchase this but i'm hooked i'm hooked i bought the Kosa's plump and juicy spray i was gonna say i do not need to repurchase this it really didn't do much to my face but now that i don't have it i just ran out of this recently within the last couple days and now that i don't have this i'm like I feel like I'm missing a step in my skincare routine. So I'm probably going to go pick this up. Did I notice it plumping or doing anything to my skin? No, but it's all in my head. I just feel like I'm missing a step because I don't have that. So it's a me problem. Definitely me. We went through a whole thing of the e.l.f. Wow, wow, wow glow. Hold on, what are you? Touchable sunscreen. I don't know. It's This is a tinted um, sunscreen. I have another bottle of these or 
This is not a bottle. Yeah, a bottle. Whatever. I have one that I'm going to continue using. I really like it. It leaves your skin looking very luminous and beautiful. I love it. I went through a whole watermelon glow facial mist. This is really going to make your face look shiny. Okay, so do not spray too much. If you put too much on, you're gonna feel like an oil slick on your face. If you keep it away from your face and you spray it, you're gonna like that look, especially I think in the summertime. The next thing that I have here is from Good Molecule Molecules, and this is their makeup eye gel. You guys, this is really affordable, and I like the way that it fills underneath my eyes wait what this is really affordable and i really like how it feels underneath my eyes and under makeup okay we have three products left and my camera's about to die i went through a whole thing of the drunk elephant whipped moisturizer i love it i already repurchased it I went through a whole, or I went through a mini size of the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I love it. I already bought the full size. I love it that much. And the Elf Wow Brow. You guys, I love it. And I already repurchased it because I love it that much. That is everything. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to end the video here. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!